Well, hello YouTube. How we doing today? Hope y'all doing good. Hope you're all doing good out there. Uh, <laughs> Danny and I, as you can see, Danny. Hey, hey How's Danny. <laughs> we are at Devilance Hatfield's house again. Now, we have done two metal detecting videos over here, and we found a bunch of coins and a knife and all sorts of stuff. You know, the knife turned out to be from the 70s, by the way. But the, the coins, all that stuff, you know, late 1800s, early 19s, you know, that sort of thing, in the right time period. So we've came back over today, and Danny has brought his metal detector again. Yeah, we have it. We're ready. And we're going to go out, and we're going to see what we can find, and we're going to video the entire thing, because, quite frankly, there was a few people, well, there was one in particular, who questioned whether we were faking it, if you know what I mean? And so we're going to video, starting to rain a little bit, walk over on porch. Yes, do that. So we're going to video, as we go, I'm not going to do any metal detecting today. I'm going to be following Danny and watching him the entire time so that you guys can actually see when the metal detectors get a ping, when we hear a sound, I'm going to stop and we're going to video the virgin ground being turned over so you guys can actually see this stuff coming out of the ground. But before we did, before we start off on this, Danny brought something that we think you guys would like to see. Now, we do a lot of, y'all know we do a lot of videos about military, you know, uh, whether they were killed in the line of duty or not, you know, but Danny's grandfather, we have an actual war hero. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's done a lot. Uh, his name is uh, William Bill Beckner. He was uh, born in 1913, I think that was the date. And uh, he was uh, shipped into the war when uh, World War II broke loose. And he was in four major battles, which was uh, one of them was Normandy. He stormed Normandy Beach. Yeah. Uh, he was surrounded in Bath Stone for a while. And uh, he was a glider pilot from that went in to Normandy Beach, and he was at Battle of the Bulge and Adenus, Ardenus. Yeah. And uh, he was uh, he was sunk on the ship of the Susan B. Anthony in the English Channel. So we have a few of his medals that we're wanting to show you today. It, look at not this, a whole guys. lot of medals, but uh, now look at this an actual he got a bronze star medal for uh, being a hero coming in. Uh, right. Uh, normally and is surrounded in uh, bass stone the bronze star bronze star wow and uh he got his he never uh he wasn't in an airplane actually it was a glider it was a lot like an airplane but it didn't have a motor on it right it glided in uh -huh. so that's what he went in in normandy beach on wow was the glider that's his wings yeah his wings check that out guys silver oh is it mm -hmm. look silver at that wings. look at that how cool was that? And then this is his uh, for good conduct. Here's a co good conduct medal is what it is for honor. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, his. I think it goes up this way. I was I was corrected on that the other day from a military person that I had it upside down. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> so these little stars, there's four stars on there. Is for the four major battles that he were in. Right. Look at this, guys. Trying to get it where you can see him. Look at that. How cool is that? And he was in the first 101st Airborne Division that they was ever when it was formed. Formed. He was, right. He was in that first. He one. was the first batch of 101st Airborne. Yeah, first ones. Now I know a couple more recent ones, but nobody from the first. They were some more medals, but I think they've gotten lost throughout the years mm -hmm. before I got them. But, right. Uh, he had told me that uh, he would like me to have these medals. And there's been a couple of the families had them since then, but I ended up with them finally. Right. But uh, he told me when he was in the English Channel on the Susan B. Anthony, you know, I was just like 12 years old, 10 years old, and I wasn't very interested in history at that time. I mean, my goodness, if I could just go back in time and yeah. listen to the old yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. He you said, don't appreciate that stuff when you're younger. He called me Dan Dan. 
Yeah. What he called me, he said, Dan, Dan, he said, when we was on that ship, he said, a torpedo hit us, and uh, he said it was sinking, it was on fire. He said, my boots were so hot that it was melting on my feet. And there was several people injured in it. And uh, You mean the metal floor fired down below? Right. And the floor was, was so, so hot, hot that, that his shoes boots, melted? Boots was melting on the bottom of the feet. Wow. He said a lot of them went into the water. Yeah, jumped Animals. in rather than... Right. Yeah. And uh, they were all all rescued. They were all rescued. They came and got them. Yeah. So that was one of the incidences. And then he told me about going into this bunker that uh, the Germans was after them. And they got in behind this mattress in the wall. And they threw down a lighter down in there to try to see, see if anybody was down there. And they come down the steps. They had a fight right there in the basement. Really? So they, they won. Hmm. Wow. Imagine that, guys. Danny's Papaw's a war hero. And he is buried in Rotorfield, West Virginia at the Jaeger Memorial uh, Cemetery. I go and see him every now and again. Wow. Danny, I I'm sure you're proud of your grandpa and brother. I am, too. Yeah, yeah. So. How cool is that, guys? We just thought we'd show y'all those real quick. Danny's Papaw's a war hero. Four mm -hmm. times over. Yep. Bronze you know, star and everything. My, uh nephew my, my sister's boy told me or uh, and jim told me that all these colors wreck uh symbol mm -hmm. something that he did right all the way across so i didn't know that right it's all re representation of what he did while he were, was yeah there. there's something we mentioned guys and maybe one of you guys can help us out with this maybe help danny out a little bit you see the four stars now, we know what those are for, you know. We know what those are for. Those are in, for engagements. But the last little thing on the far right. It's copper, look. That one. You know, maybe some of you military guys can help Danny out just a little bit. What What is that? Do y'all know? Anyhow, I thought I'd show y'all that. Danny mentioned that a few minutes ago that we weren't really sure what that, that one. We, got, we know what those are, but that one little insignia right there we want looks like an arrowhead gun. it does you know my my uh brother-in-law told me what it was but I actually i had forgotten oh. so it does signify something significant yeah i'm, I'm sure I, I have zero doubt that it does yeah. so but danny thank y'all man thank you for sharing that yes, sir. I, I appreciate that man thank you for sharing that look at that bronze star medal it says on the box and that's the actual case that it was in when he gave it to me Wow. So that, that's old. Yeah. I'd say as to what he 40s, got. It, that's I about see. 80 years old. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. That is amazing, Danny. Yes, Thank you is. for sharing that. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, man. Thank yes. you. Yes, Thank sir. you. And to your grandpa, too. Yeah. Okay. Nothing but respect, my friend. All right. I guess we're going to head out here in a second. We're going to power's out. And uh, Jack's over. He's in the museum with some people that came wanting to see the museum, and the power was out. But. Y'all know Jack. He's showing them the museum anyway. He's giving them the tour by flashlight if necessary. <laughs> he's just a good dude, you know. He wasn't going to let them, you know, just send them away. So he's in there showing them around a little bit. And uh, he's got a spot. We did last time. We kind of went back up this way, back behind the house. And the first time was directly out behind the house directly. We're thinking uh, that Jack is wanting Danny to metal detect out this way, out directly behind where the museum is at. So we're gonna hang out and, you know, just kind of kill a few minutes and it's a little drizzly anyway today. So we're just gonna kind of hang out and as soon as Jack gets done, we're gonna touch base and see exactly, you know, what he's wanting us to check out today. And we will get started and I will be watching, you know, the metal detector the entire time with the camera so that there will be no doubt you know, we've had, we've had a lot of, you know, like the silver coins and stuff. We've pulled out a lot of stuff here. We've, what, how many coins? I think at least. Four the last time, about seven or eight coins, give or take. Oh, yeah. And we've had a lot of people, you know, that do metal detecting, you know, on other channels and stuff. None of them have questioned because they know that gold and silver can stay real nice and pretty and shiny for many years. Yeah, you know, you know, it'll, it'll tarnish a little bit, but you just rub it, it'll be just right yeah hmm. but uh so we're gonna 
like I said, we wanted to point that out to you guys, you know, point out a few things and because it, it matters to us. It matters it to us. Absolutely. You know, we we don't we don't make stuff up. We ain't lying about nothing. And we don't want any of y'all to ever get that in your head that that could even be remotely be a possibility. That would be damaging. If you done something like that, that yeah, would be damaging. Definitely. To your definitely. Well, we can, we get plenty of views with telling the truth. We I, you know, Ain't no need to lie. About it. We're doing well what we're doing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But uh, I guess we're going to hang out. We got some trail riders coming in wanting to see the museum too. So we're going to kind of hang out, stay out of the way. We're waiting on the rain to quit anyway. Yeah, we're not going to get in there. Yeah, yet. yeah. We'll let it dry out just for a second or two before we hit the weeds. But uh, anyway, today should be a fun day. And all of you guys are invited to come along, right, Danny? Yeah, we'll have them with us. We'll, you'll be right with us. That's if right. You will. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to chill for just a few minutes, let everything calm down. And here in a little while, we're going to jump right on it and get started. Okay, guys, the rain has stopped. As you can see, everything is really, really wet. Uh, so we're going to go back into the weeds, into the wet and the cold. And get real good and wet and cold. So I'm gonna run over here where there's ground and balance it real Okay, good. okay. So if anybody wants to subscribe, because you know, poor Leo and Danny went out in the weeds and the wet and the cold, you know, y'all feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> now we looked uh the last time we found the jar coins was right up here, the knife was right up here, uh the thimble and a few other things. And we found some stuff right here. We found some, uh, uh, I think it was a dime right there. And the leaf spring from Devil Ants' wagon was right above it. But Danny and I, we've worked, you know, like I said, back on the hill. And this is a new area that uh, no one has been in. This is virgin territory. But we got to do a little bit of climbing to get to it, unfortunately. But that kind of comes with the territory, I suppose. So we are going right through here, kind of work on the side of the creek bank. You can see the creek runs right down by the house and in front of the, the old, well that, or, uh, old wall that Devil Ants built. But we are heading right back in through here because this is virgin territory. This hasn't we'll been done yet. First we talking about. Right behind you, brother. Picking up a little bit of junk so far. What's it say it is? Yeah, it could be lead, could be pop tab, could be gold, could be several. Huh. You need to dig in the digger tool there? I've got digger right here, Mr. Diggy. Okay, now, y'all can see there's weeds there. And you can see the ground is indeed solid. Yeah. You can see Danny scraping the, the, the top off of it, and you can see that it is solid ground. So whatever this is, we are actually pulling this out of the ground for the first time, or we staged this about 20 years ago. <laughs> Little piece There's one thing, let's see. Little yeah. piece of tin. Looks yeah. like a lid off of something. And the rest of the lid maybe. More more metal. Yeah, looks like a There's more stuff in here though. Could be an old jar lid or something like that. But you find what you find, right? Yeah. Yep. Jar lid or something. We're gonna keep getting you can all see though. little pieces of whatever it is. Yep, there's cannon a, jar lid. It's a cannon jar lid. And you can see the you can see the threads right there. What's that? It's a button. What is that? 
I don't know. What in the world? Very light. Huh. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's Jack's. <laughs> it's Jack's now. Well, I guess it was Jack's before we started, but now he knows about it. Something right there. Heavy. Like a, it's like a piece of old rusted metal. Who knows what's under it? Still got stuff here. Huh? Goodness. It is, ain't it? This is eagle button. Ha! Look there, people. Now, y'all saw this come out of the ground, right? This was an uncut video from that, start to just now. That is Civil War. Civil War button. So, you even got the shank on the back side of it right there. See on the back side? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You see that eagle? Well, see, we don't. I ain't got my cleaner here with me. Uh, that's all right. We'll clean him up in a few. See that eagle on there? Yeah, I do. That's a cuff button. See the eagle? It's a cuff button from a. Civil War uniform. <coughs> it's wet out here. Yeah, it is. Y'all see the eagle? Trying to get the camera to focus just right. Now that's something. We've already hit pay dirt, Danny. Already? Quite a bit of junk. You see all the yeah. junk we had to get yeah. through to get to that, though? Three pieces of junk. Well, two pieces of junk. And a Civil War button. Just a couple old mountain goats. Up and down the hill. <laughs> okay, ready when you are. Just seems like, you know, if they were you know, target practicing, that sort of thing, target shooting, that if they were to hit that, the bullet, in theory. You see poison ivy everywhere. Yeah. And we are directly behind, well, almost, Devil Lance's house set right there. Uh, Jax is, you know, occupying the same spot now. Dev Lance's house went further on out, but other than that, Jack's house sits in the same spot. So we are just directly up and, uh, what, 50 yards, maybe, upstream. Stuff like that's fairly common, these big sinkholes like this. If you look, you can see the old tree right through there and the roots. When this tree fell that way, it flipped all this stuff out and made this big hole here. Well, the butt is a real good find. Yeah, it is. Put a bag over it, it was raining earlier. Yeah, keep the electronics dry. Weather resistant, but weather 
proof. proof. They make new ones now that you can put under water for 30 feet. Really? But this ain't one of them. <laughs> Good machine though. It's an old machine, analog, but it, it is solid. Side by sides heading out. Trail riders over here at Jack's place looking at the museum. I'm just now heading out. Find something. He says it's deep. But the sound of it gives it away that it's deep. Hey, hold up, hold up, Danny. Let me get around here where I can see. Okay. Once again, y'all can see this is virgin ground. This is this packed ground. I see it. I see it right there. That's one of them high-powered rifle shells they, they, they shot. <laughs> now, what do you think about that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not a very big one, though, is it? No, it's a... Uh... Let's see if we can tell. We get down there, we'll clean it up. See what we can tell about it. Can't really tell much. It's got something, something back there, but you can't tell what it is. Put that one up, move on to the next one. Something deep. That ain't what I, that ain't what I was detecting. You think? No, that there was right on top of the ground. I must have missed that. This is, whatever this is. Huh. Come out. Yeah, he's still in there. <laughs> Is it? Silver. Alum <laughs> Silver aluminum one. Boy, it looks in bad shape. It's a coin of some kind, ain't it? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, go ahead and analyze it. Yeah, we'll put him up regardless. It's got something on it. That was what I was yeah. checking. That was way deep. That was probably seven inches or so. Huh. It's either aluminum or silver because because it's still shiny, you know, right, it's still... Right, right. Huh. Oh, I see it. It looks like a coin. It's an eagle right there. Yeah. See an eagle? Yeah. 50 cent piece. It's a lib li Liberty. It's That's Liberty. a quarter. Yeah, it's a quarter. That's the date right here. There's a date, there's a two or something. Huh. Boy, look how bad a shape yeah, that's it is. in. Yeah, it is. It looks like he's had a rough life, don't he? Nope. Oh, that's something right there. I bet it's another one of them shells. What's it look like? <laughs> that's good. I mean, that, that is oh, their yeah. error right there. That was when they were here. It's either a shotgun shell or one of them. High power rocket ship. It's gonna be on the ground. Right on top of him. Now look here, people. Whatever this is. Hello. It's down. It's right there, isn't it? It's a shell. It's another one. Yep. See, now that's how brass, it, it will corrode and stuff. Right. It's something like silver, gold, and all that don't, but like brass and copper. Tarnishes. Little tarnishes. And yeah. It looks like a, 
It don't look much bigger than a 22, does it? That's a, like a 223. Yeah, it's something like that, yeah. I found several of them the last time I were here. Uh -huh. And he looked them up, and it was during that time. It's got the, I think, USMC on it. Uh-huh. That's got the same thing on it. I don't know. It's, okay. <laughs> It's already been good. Yeah, we already. have. Yeah, we've already found stuff. And it's from period time. It's from, yes. Well, I don't know about that, whatever it coin is. Yeah, it is a coin. I don't know what that's from. Them bullets and stuff is definitely. Go right ahead, man. I'm right behind you. Hey, Danny. Buzz behind this one just for a second. Them rocks kind of look like they might have been stacked. You see what I'm saying there? I mean, it could just be coincidence, but the... They just look like somebody stacked them. Let me get above it here. Nope. It did look good though. Yeah, it did. One time up north, we was uh, a <laughs> and there was one brick sticking up out of the ground, just like that, crossways. We started digging, and it was a whole place where a Confederate group had wintered for the winter. Right. It was uh, arched bricks to keep warm back in the bank. We found all kinds of stuff in there. Huh. Yeah. I guess. Like a like a cellar. Oh no, I'm good, man. I'm good. Go. Tired. Oh, I'm sorry, tarred. <laughs> tarred. Yeah. You're tarred. Tarred. <laughs> Yep, we found Devil Ants' Mountain Dew, y'all. You, you know, have you heard that old song? Huh? You see that good old Mountain Dew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 75 to 100 yards from the house, man. Yeah. I'm going to show y'all what the yellow root looks like. Um, I know we showed the top. Did we dig up the bottom last time for y'all? No, we did not. We did blood root, you but we didn't do the yellow root. That's a piece of yellow root right here. When you get down next to the bottom, it turns gold. The reason they call it golden seal. Right. See there? Snap how it. yellow that is right here? It's when you snap it? Yeah. See how yellow it is on the inside? It's a medicinal herb. Now that's about $40 a pound dry. Is it? Yeah. 40 bucks a pound. Yeah, I think that ain't a whole lot, but if you find it this, you usually find it in big patches. Yeah. But he's by himself yeah. today. Climbing mountains is probably good for you, actually. <laughs> that same fellow we uh, you, you videoed about <coughs> earlier about the metals. Yeah. He taught me to dig gin thing when I was just like nine years old. Yeah. And he take me on his little mini bike. Mm -hmm. We go back in the woods, and he's a mountain man. He was a mountain man. He taught me everything about the ginseng, how to find it. Because there's, there's a talent to that. I mean, there's some I'm people sure. can find it better than others. Yeah. And I never was one of the ones that could find it. <laughs> he could. <laughs> uh oh. Hello. What's it say? Looks like one of them, one of them bullets again. Once again, guys, virgin ground. You can see the roots going right through there that Danny's digging through the roots. Dug him out. This beer, anyway.
whatever it is you got him. I do drop him. I had it. I dropped it, didn't I? Whatever it is. Undoubtedly, it's something that don't want to be found. <laughs> Keeps rolling down the hill. That's him right there. It's something. A little piece of tin. No, that is a shoe buckle. It sure is, ain't it? It sure is. Hang on, let me get some of the trash out here. Look at that. You can see the little buckle. Something similar here too. Something else. Okay, in the pocket with the buckle. Another little something, ain't it? It's a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that one is. That's a 44. 40, 44. Remember the gun that we was looking at down at the, the depot? Yeah. yeah. It was going like that. That's what that shoots right there. A 44. I guess. I guess. Look at that. It's been shot. Through. Look, it's got rifle. It's got the. Yeah, the rings. You can rings see the rings on the back. See them right there. I guess the rings kind of helped it to flare out when they fired it, right? Like a, like a rifle bullet, a modern rifle bullet, just kind of flares the back end. Yeah, and, and rings is also to to uh, identify what shell it is, what it was. Right. It's been anything got a little other? weight to it to be yeah. so small. It's got a little weight to it. Did did say that again? That what what part? The that, last the last words. Did you find stuff? Are you sitting down? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I've heard this somewhere before. <laughs> well, I mean, that area over there, you know. We didn't find a jar of money. Yeah, That's we didn't. hard to top that. Well, yeah, yeah a I jar of money is kind of hard to top. You I ready? Don't, it's hard to tell what in the world we're ever going to find well, on this property. We did find error stuff. We, we did. We well, scored. We scored. But, oh, well, that's good. Before we, <laughs> I had a hunch. I don't know why. I just there's just something just telling me go dig that area. But yeah, I don't know that area. You know, it just seems really suspect. You know, because yeah. it's because when you when you go behind the museum and you look on that creek bed, it's a really low, flat, like carved out area. So it's like a little cove. I don't know. I, I just. Right. I see people like I don't know hanging out there back in the yeah day. by the I creek don't... by yeah. the creek yeah yeah I don't I, I don't know why I saw that and then right of course uh, did y'all make it up on the rock up there uh huh oh yeah we went you did? all over the place yeah okay all right because I don't know I, I know that that's not ever been like you know Metal it's a well I know that but it ain't never been checked but that area you know like it's just been um it's a good like lookout spot yeah is it what is I thought. it like, is you know where somebody could stand guard it most certainly but you know did you i know you know i don't know what you guys have been talking about out there because I've, I've been in here but um did you talk about how like when we find coins and stuff why they're so um like clean how I, I mentioned silver. it earlier you know oh, about okay. how gold and silver we found yeah. one today i think it's a coin it is silver too yeah everything yeah. you documented today it was virgin ground when we started. Well, so of course, it always is. I mean, right. but he's got it going rolling. We, we stopped and, you know, show the, the spot. Yeah. And then show that it's virgin ground, Danny digging through roots and rocks and stuff yeah. like that. I and don't then, know why people think we plant this I stuff. Don't know. I just, jealousy is the only thing I can think of. I don't know, but well, I mean, know. it's all 100% real. Yeah. Um, well, it's obvious if it's on a video, it's, you know, somebody disputing something that they can clearly see is. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, even, even when we st when we first started doing this and digging out those coins back there on, on the back hill back here that first time we did, I mean, it shocked me too, like how clean yeah. silver yeah. comes out. But yeah. any detectors that's done it a long time and dug silver in the ground, they'll tell yeah. you the same thing. It comes out silver looking. I mean, like gold, you find a gold nugget, yeah. maybe it's going to be a shining, buddy. Yeah. You find a nugget, the silver the same way, especially if it's high quality, high content silver. Yeah. But you yeah. know, like fifty, like quarters, like we have today, don't have the silver in them like they had back in the day. 
yeah. or ninety percent in the old days. And now Danny, we eighty. Yeah. You're, you're giving the cow away, man. We're trying to sell milk here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shut up, man. Oh. We're trying to sell milk here, and you're giving you away give, cows. Did you give them updates? <laughs> did you give them updates on that Bowie knife we found? No, I did not. You want to go ahead? Well, I mean, it's a really cool find, and I'm still going to put it in the museum. But it's not Devil Ants days. Right, right. It's uh, it's from the families that lived here. I don't know who it's from, but anyways, it's from the seventies. Right. It was made in Pakistan. I had to uh, wire off a lot of rust to get in there to um, find clues so I can if figure you, it out. If you remember the day that I was standing right there, I said. I just don't think it's... Yeah, because the, yeah, yeah, the wood handle would have been gone and, yeah. you know, yeah. realistically. Yeah, you say, I mean, you know, it's still cool. It's still apple. stupid cool, <laughs> though. I mean, yeah. I you mean, know, who, pull an yeah. 18-inch Bowie knife out from behind <laughs> Devil Ansa's house. I don't know what I mean, but, um, yeah, it was really cool fun. So but are, are you I'm ready? Not it, but i got to clean it up put it out there. Yeah. So yeah. Are, you, are you ready? Yeah, you see my hands on it. <laughs> That's very, you want to show them the first one? The first one, the first, well, you, you, yeah, you, you do what you want to do. You got your hand in your pocket. Yeah, I already got one in my pocket. I got I, one in my hand know, already. I think I've learned I don't like being on the dig with you because I feel like this is Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I, I can see that. You don't know what's like coming, do you? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't. <laughs> last, I don't know last time we gave him a jar of silver coins yeah. and that big old Bowie knife, so I'm, I'm sure you're probably wondering right about now. I am. I am. Okay, ready? But yeah, what we got? Here we go. Here we what go. We ready? Yeah. It's a. Wait, let me get my. Let me get okay, my, well, uh, my eyeball. Where's my eyeball? There's my eyeball. Oh, there it is. Yeah. First one? Yeah. Mason jar lid. Okay, yeah. This that, one looks older than the others. This yeah, one's bigger. Really yeah, this one's a bigger, like a wider mouth. Well, the, the jar was right there too. It was broken. Yeah. The jar was broken and that was right beside of it. Was there any right decent with pieces with it that could not identify really. like the type of jar? Or you die, not really. The bottom wasn't in it, just the sides and it was broken in inch pieces. Yeah. I'm guessing somebody broke it and just tossed it back up on the hill. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah, you know, probably. Yep. Piece of trash. Get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, that's cool. It ain't trash to me. No, it's not. No, it most certainly It'll, is not. I have to clean it up a little bit and get it. Stop the rusting. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Hold your hands up, close your eyes. No, I, I just want to see if he'd do it. He does. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, another shell. Yeah, so this was up there on that one area. Yeah, no, oh, two. Cool on two of them. Those were together. The right same. there on that rock. Next to a tree. Right above it, right. Somebody has been standing at that tree and it. fired at least two shots and ejected the rounds, probably a third shot. Yep. But at least two were fired from that tree. Did you, you did look them up before the ones I found and that is from the Oh area. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see like when you um clean them up down here they've got like lot numbers and stuff from back then. Yeah. So there was a so what's interesting is like when I went to um get evidence of Devil Lance's gun in there, you know, of, you know, right. that it belonged to him. Prominence, right. Yeah, the, the uh, interesting thing, so you have to go through the Buffalo Bill Museum because um, when Remington and all these other companies went out of business, all their records were went to that museum. So when you go to that museum, what they'll tell you, like I tried to get like, you know, showing his ownership, but it shows nothing but the date it was manufactured. Because right. back then, they didn't keep records like that. Right, right, right. So, you know, all we can tell was that the year it was made. That's it. Right. Um, but now, but on the bullets, however, the lot numbers, they have a lot more than that. We'll give it away. So the bullets, you can tell a little bit better on the uh, prominence of it than so like a some, gun. We have some bullets, too. Yeah, we got some bullets, too. Yeah. I, we have no idea what that is. What is it? It's that? a big slab of... What's metal? a metal? Well, yeah, it has to be metal for the detector. To yeah, we on. have no clue what it is. So if anybody knows, yeah, comment we'll clean him and up let and us know. Clean him up. I don't know if you'd be able to tell anything at all. It looks like it's probably way too far gone, but that is definitely period because of the age. Yeah. I mean, you can tell that's been in the ground for a long, long time. Long time, yeah. And you can even... I think it, I mean, you can tell it ain't, it, it ain't like machine made either. Right. Whatever right, it was. Right. Huh. Next piece. Well, I'll scrub our dirt and rust off and see if I can identify anything on it. Hang on, let me, let 
Make sure I'm bringing them out in the right order. We don't want to. <laughs> I said order, but. <laughs> now this one, we don't know what it is. It looks you know, like a little heart. It's been burnt. I'll bet it's got real hot, don't you? You know, what's that other little silver piece you said that we found the last time? It's a little tube thing. It's up there in that box right there with a knife. <laughs> Grab that Powerade box right there. Bring it over here, actually. You got laying all around this place. I do. I do. Yeah. I, I, There's I, the Bowie knife we found. It takes oh. me a while to clean them up yeah, and identify them. That's hollow. It could be yeah, something that. melted down. Yeah, sorry, let me get this charger out of here. That's the Bowie knife for those of you who didn't yeah, see Yeah, see, I had, to, I had to scrub yeah, it down, nine. and I found a PAK right there. And I was like, what in the world? And I started Googling Bowie knives, PAK, and then... Pakistan yeah. come up, I type that in, and boom, there it come up. We, we found one. We found a Confederate boot knife that looked sort of similar. And the hilt was similar, but not the same. So, definitely not old enough. We'll figure it out, whatever it is. I'm kind of curious to see what, you know, if you'd ever even find out, you know, some just some rusted piece of metal. I didn't think I'd figure anything out on this, but that's I did. That's true, that's true. We found quite a few of these. There's not, I, I don't know what this is. Huh. I have no idea what it is. So if anybody knows what that is, they can tell us too. Kind of looks like the outer sheath to a gutter nail, but obviously not. There's some kind of writing on it. What? Did I miss that? Is that writing right there? It's like numbers. Ow. It's numbers. Well, he's got them. No, it ain't. No, it's just little, like... Scratches? No, it's from being made. It's like a seam. Yeah, machined. If yeah. it's machined, then it's way too modern for... It's like, well, I don't know it's been machined, but you can see it's like a... Let me see if I can do this right. Yeah, you can see the grooves, yeah. Yeah, it's like a... I don't know if it's machine made or what, but it's just like a seam. Yeah. It seems like to me. I don't know. Could be, could be, could oh, be. Oh, we gotta look at the magnifier. The magnifier's fine glass. I mean, he ain't going. Oh, buddy, I keep batteries going on this thing. You ready for the next one? We yeah, still got still, five more I'm to playing go. playing with the ones you got me. We what? still got five more to go. All right, let's roll. Oh, and that little buckle. It looks like a little shoe buckle. That's that, what, yeah. That found in the woods, up there yeah. in the woods. Uh, that is time period, too. Yeah, that's what I was. I was yeah, thinking. that is time period. That could have been like on one of the little vice yeah, shoes yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Or one of the kids. Yeah, one of the kids that's shoes. what we were thinking, you know, a woman's or maybe a shoe's. Yeah. But I wonder if they, how, the watch bands. How did they do watch bands? Did they even have watches? Well, they had the pocket watches on uh, there. Yeah, because but, Devil Ants carried the pocket watch. Right, but, I mean, you know, wrist, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking wrist watches didn't really. From that time? I yeah, yeah, I catch on until later. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know, but maybe. But, yeah, this is. Yeah, I don't know if that could be from a wristwatch. All the rest of them are better. I mean, all the rest of them are better than what we've shown you so far. Yeah, better really? items. Really? Yeah. I think a buckle's pretty cool. Everything we've got. So, the rest. I mean, of I know it, it ain't a crazy Bowie knife, but you want a good one? Well, you want I a good think one? They're all good. Ain't good nothing or... you're giving me is bad ever. It's a button. Yeah, but look what. Look of... close. Oh, it's an eagle yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what that is, don't you? No. Is it a Civil War uniform yeah, button? Yeah, absolute cuff button. See how small it is? Yeah. <laughs> you can see the little That's cool. Yeah, you can see the detail. Well, I can see, see the pretty good without, but... You can see the detail. Well, well let me turn around here. It even's got the shank on the back side. Yeah, you That's, can see yeah. where it was attached. Yeah, I don't know. Can you see it? Uh, let me see if I can get this to where you can... You uh -huh. guys can see. I don't... Well, sometimes you gotta... Focus yeah, this thing yeah out. that's the trick to it. Let me just see your hand there, like that, in a good light. You can definitely see the the design. Eagle. Yeah, you can see the eagle. That's cool. Yeah, Civil War uniform. Might be able to soak that a little bit and clean that up. Then uh, research that and see if it's uh, Confederate or Union. More like it's Union, though. It's um, but maybe not. That's true. Maybe that's not. A good point. There's something on the back. That is a really good point. What'd if it's you say? eagle, it's if it's eagle, it's federal. Yeah. Who's federal? Who's been federal around here? 
Maybe you know what you know what this implies, don't you? They've buried a Union soldier behind the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would not surprise me in the least. There's something on the back. It's just really small. Well, you can get on the internet and you'll research that out and you'll find oh, out. Oh, you exactly know what I that will. <laughs> you know I'll be doing this tonight. <laughs> that is a real interesting piece right there. Yeah, it is. C O V and that that could say Confederate. I can't see it. See if you can see what's on the back. There's something written right there on the back. It's like a red, like a circle, like a coin, you know. Okay, he's the young one asking the old dudes with old eyes me? to look I'm at it. Still... <laughs> How old you think I am? You're younger than we are. It's <laughs> <laughs> Confederate States of America. Is that what it Does says? Does it really? No, I'm just <laughs> Say, how do you get all that? But they are. They are lettering on there. Yeah. Absolutely. You'll I'll be able find, to find I'll out. figure it out. You could probably wet it down and find yeah. it. Yeah. We ain't oh, done yeah. nothing to it except wipe it off with the fingers. Yeah, I know. i got to clean them. And then I've got this uh, good solution for metals. Yeah, it does look good, though. I yeah, know. it does. That's what I'm saying. Once I clean it up, it'll look really good. I, I believe you'll be able to sit through there. Can you sit through there? Look good that Yeah, let me try that. I guess y'all can see that. I can see it through it. I'll have to get a new wire brush. I guess y'all can see it. Right. It's not very big. He's a little fella. He's, He's a cuff button. Smaller than a dime. Yeah. Ready for the next one? You still got three, oh, to, yeah. three to go. Yeah, that button's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find that one too. You ready? Yeah. Boom. Another bullet? That's a 44. Oh. I don't know what that is. I've seen them before. Because you know that's what was that's they. A 44. That's We've, what we were going to carry. That's what that is. I've still got the two best things in my hand. What? <laughs> yeah, because you know, I mean, the 44 was. That was the, that was, that was the, the gun. Yeah, that was the gun back then, man. Well, that was the common thing. That's what the common man carried. Was the 44? 44. 44. Yeah. Which, you know, that's what they actually put in the miniseries. Oh, well, what was too. it? Colt Peacemaker? Yeah, and in, in Civil War they used them to get called a dragoon. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what they used. That's what that shot. That's what that is right there. 44 yeah. dragoon. <laughs> I think. I'm not positive, but I've seen a lot of them. I need to get a bigger Civil War bullet display out there because I still got to put this one I out I thought there. he was going to say I need a bigger Civil, Civil War bullet. I need a bigger museum is what <laughs> I mean. But I ain't got the money for it. So if anybody wants to give me money for a bigger museum. So on. do you need a bigger Civil War, Civil War bullet? Hmm? No, I got. I need a bigger like display uh, f out there for. So you don't want this giant Civil War what? bullet that yeah, we found? Yeah. <laughs> what? Understand. Look at that! Wow, what did that come out of? That's bigger than fifty-eight. It's a seventy or sixty something. You gotta look at it and see. Who knows? You know, I've seen online these. Gatling uh, gun. That's huh. big. <laughs> that thing's heavy. Yeah, it is. It's just like what that do to a body when hitting bone and stuff. Yeah, oh, my just God. It shot something. Look at yeah. look how deep Big it hit gash too. In yeah, it. it hit something really hard. Where did, where did you find this at? Right, straight back behind um, the museum on the hill. On the on that on rock, that little flat point, just yeah. on the other side of the flat point. Yep, I'd imagine these were warning shots. Could well. Be. These shells were for sure. I don't know about the bullet. Yeah, there might have been two, two body shots there. Yeah. Uh, might yeah. have been. Who knows? Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. It wasn't a waste of day. No. I knew, I knew it wouldn't be. I told you I had a feeling. I had you got something feeling. else here. I think that's the last one. Is that the last what? thing? Uh-huh. I don't, I don't really yeah. know what that is. Yeah. You don't know what it is. Silver. What? It's definitely a coin. Yep. That looks like the American <laughs> Eagle back there. It but, does. But it is so, it's in real terrible it's condition. It's in really rough shape. It well, has been battered bad. Well, it's still silver looking. I'm just wondering if it's like old, 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 old. Could be. We saw something on the other side. Looked like it could have been a date. But there's on like a side? pit. Yeah, there's like a little pit on the edge. Dirt. Mm. see the... Could y'all imagine if this is like some kind of crazy Viking coin or something? Yeah, you can see the head, the neck. What is this? What is this? <laughs> you can see like the head. It looks kind of like a, um, sort of like a modern quarter. It I says guess. Liberty on top. 
Well, that's modern, then. Well, oh, it, it's in awful bad shape to be modern. Yeah, no doubt. I, I don't think it's that see modern. What the date is on it. We seen numbers on the bottom somewhere. I thought I did. I just see I B E T. Liberty. Liberty. L I or well, I see B E. I'm assuming it's a T. Okay, that's just. You could tell it had a head on it. It's some sort. What's it doing up in there? Well, it's our tail. Yeah. Where was it at? It's up in the woods there. That behind. The big bullet, I believe. Mm -hmm. Flip it over, see if there's anything on the other side that you can see. Is there any numbers or like where a date would be? This thing is so damaged. It yeah, has it to be old. It's beat to death, ain't it? Yeah. Why? I mean. Why is it beat like that? That's a good question. That's what I'm saying is because it, it was in there for so long. Had to be. He's old, whatever he is, he's old, ain't he? Yeah. There's something on him. I'm going to clean it up more. Maybe I can get another judge on it. Yeah, pull a date off of it or something. Something. Sometimes I have to, like, take photos and blow them up and investigate. Yeah, and there you go. See, here's, like, a uh, like a branch right there. Olive branch? Something, yeah. So There was something here and then a branch here. So it's what, definitely an old coin. It's just a matter of which. Yeah, and where and when. To what you think about today's haul? Ain't bad, is it? Not too shabby. There's an EP on the bottom. EP looks like one. I don't know. There's definitely was something here. Maybe the eagle with the. Got a lot of Branches on it. Looks like an eagle on one side of it, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Let me get you some. It looks like the eagle, right down the middle. Yeah, and you see over here is like the olive branch looking thing. Man, that thing is beat to death, ain't it? I know. Wonder, you can tell it's the top of the head there. Yeah, yeah. So you can tell the coin was like this, I think. Oh, crap. Like, yeah, like that's the head. There's the neck on right. the bottom. Yeah. Kind see. of looks like a modern quarter, a little Kinda. bit. That's what I was thinking too. Kind of looks but a little bit like a modern. It's quarter. smaller than a rate and then a quarter. I wonder if like you know quarter from you know what when did modern the quarter that we know today start getting minted is the question. Well, they start they stopped making them silver in sixty four. Sixty five was had copper. So it's pre, it, it would have to back. predate that for the detector to pick up the silver. Well, you'd still pick up the silver quarter, even though it's got the at least the that, minimum. Yeah, but if that was a regular quarter, it would be terrible, terrible. It wouldn't have no shine to it at all. It would mm -hmm. be plum black, brown looking. Like a modern yeah. quarter? Yeah, like a modern right, quarter. Right. They in the ground a few years and they turn brown. But it's more the size of a nickel than a quarter. Yeah. We've got, a, I think it's a New Zealand dime mm -hmm. from the 1800s from that we here. found. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah, it's in the museum. It was found um, supposedly where they thought the closet of the house was when the house burned down. Uh -huh. So the theory was is that there's definitely, a, this is the eagle, his face is this way, and here's wings here and here. Uh -huh. I see that. Now I'm going to have to, now this is going to drive me nuts. I'm going to yeah. go find it. But yeah. anyways, um, when the, I don't know if it was the Diggers TV show, when they did the Diggers, t no, I don't think the Diggers TV show did, I think the, there's other professional Diggers at, right after that show. But anyway, we've done quite a few digs here, as you know. Um, and um, they had found what they thought was, in theory, Devil Ants' keepsake box mm -hmm. of when the house burned. You know, the box, of course, burned because it was wood. And, of course, the metal survived. Right. And there was some old coins in there. And one of them being, um, there was an Indian weed head penny. There was a uh, 1800s... Uh, Liberty Dime, or no, 1700s. It was a 1700s Liberty Dime. And uh, I think a 1800s uh, New Zealand Nickel or something like that. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then there was a button that had the little train on it, which was where he consulted the railway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they gave, we assume they gave him a pair of striped overalls. And it has that little, um, if you yeah. look at it, I looked it up. 
it's, it was the company that became Oshkosh Bigosh. So whatever their name was before that, I can't remember. They made railroad striped overalls and they had little buttons on yeah, them. Yeah, the blue train and on. white. Yeah, I know, I know, yep. Yeah, yep. I know what you're talking so about. So they gave him a pair of those, presumably when he was consulting work, yeah, the railway. Yeah. He well, yeah, he, he laid railways. out all the railroads. Yeah, he yeah. did. I mean, he sold them the land and then he consulted yeah. them on how to yeah, get yeah, the coal yeah, out of here. Yeah, you can go this yeah, way. Easier, it's yeah. train grade um, and so Because he knew forth. all these lands from hiding in them. Yeah, he knew them like the back of his hand. Um, who better to so, do that? Yeah, I, so there's a photo of him consulting the railway in there. Yeah. I assume it come from that. Um, and then what else was there? Oh, uh, the belt buckle from what we presume was his, uh, a, it was a sash buckle from what we was presuming was his Civil War uniform. Mm -hmm. So that was in that box, little keepsake box as well. Wow. So we assume. The belt buckle from Devil Lance Hatfield Civil War uniform. uniform. Wow. It's my favorite piece. That is unbelievable, it's man. In the That's, museum. Yeah. That is just so insanely cool. Yep, it's in the museum in there. Well, it's a cool day. I'm glad yeah. you had all. I'm glad yeah. you found some that stuff. That is amazing. That first you find right there. That's oh my. Did you so good. tell me that what you thought crazy. this was from before? It's like a shotgun yeah, shell. Shot oh, okay. But it's modern. It's not well, I wouldn't say yeah. it's modern. I'd say it's from the forties or fifties. Oh, okay. It's not way back there. Twenties, eighteen hundreds. Yeah, but then the little short brass ones we got here, them are them are more like a shot. Oh yeah, gun out there. I've got a lot of. I, wow. You know, we've we've found so many that shotgun shells on this property. <laughs> I've got a whole slew of them out there. Not only do I have a whole box full out there, the Diggers TV show and the uh, other Diggers found, but I've got even the ones that like we've found that's out in the museum too. You know. Mm -hmm. So then a lot, there have been a lot of rounds shot here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll yeah. tell you something else, guys. Oh, it's cool that everything that gets found here goes in the museum yeah. instead of going on eBay. That's right. As soon as Jack you know gets I mean. time to clean it and yeah. put it in a Jack, display to get it out there. No, that's a good thing, guys. Jack, he takes his stuff. He, he don't sell this on eBay. He puts no. his stuff in his museum. This is my family's guys can, history. Yeah, it's it's no a really cool piece. No doubt. And since I know it ain't like that old, I don't feel bad like cleaning it up. Yeah. Yeah. learning on it yeah, yeah. you're right you're knives. right you're right it's it's a cool as is yeah it's cool as is but it ain't like hatfield history right right but it's still cool yeah. and just the same guys we just want to take a second before my battery goes dead here to say thank you guys for watching thank you for coming along uh we really appreciate you from heather myself me jack and danny Thank you guys for watching. We, we appreciate y'all. Y'all have a really good day, and we will see you next time on the Hillbilly Files. Y'all want to say it with me? Sure. What are we saying? You don't know what this, you've been watching videos enough, has he? <laughs> he is, no? <laughs> I don't watch him. On three. Ready? One, two, two three. Hillbilly's <laughs> out. <laughs> ah, see y'all later. You hit me. <laughs>